It was uh, late January. It was about seven o'clock at night. I had phoned the day before. I phoned the, the hotline. And they told me they had a bed tonight. And they gave me the address. And I was really scared. I was in basically in an undecisive situation. I had made up my mind, but the body was going, but the mind hadn't caught up yet. So I, um, I was looking for a parking spot. I didn't want to park in front of the shelter. I was dealing with all kinds of emotions. And, and then I walked up to the shelter and it was like, it was a cold day, just like it is today. I remember that. I kind of knew it was gonna be okay, but still physically it was, everything was new. So it was really unsettling. I knew it couldn't get worse, but I couldn't imagine it getting better. Hi, I'm here. My name is Paula. Yes. They have told you? Okay. Okay. Thank you. to the creator, grandfathers and grandmothers, and all my relations to the east. And I ask the creator, grandfathers and grandmothers, and all my relations to the north. I ask the creator, grandfathers and grandmothers, and all my relations to the south. I ask the creator, grandfathers and grandmothers, and all my relations to the west. I ask that you be with me today. Give me guidance, strength, wisdom. And I thank you for this opportunity to do this film, and I pray that I would do it in a good way and in good energy. My status as a positive woman has greatly affected my life. I believe for the first eight years I didn't have a relationship. Um, no one wanted to have a relationship with me and, and it's, it still happens today. They'll go, oh, okay. It just becomes a friendship then. It's no longer a relationship and certainly not a sexual relationship. And that's why I state HIV is my best friend because um, it will be with me for the rest of my life. and. I can see that I probably won't have a long-term relationship ever. So in this dream, we are having this really steamy makeout, but I was very conscious that I had to disclose and I hadn't done it yet. And we had started kissing and I was like, shit, 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 shit. What am I gonna do? And I was like, you know, it was really hard because in my dream, I was getting really upset. And it was like that, that stuff that like exists in the back of my mind every single time I want to sleep with someone. Every time I meet someone at a bar, every time I meet someone that I think is cute. What am I gonna tell you? How am I gonna tell you? What's it gonna look like? How are you gonna react? And I just remember thinking and feeling like I'm not a murderer. I just wanna be like everyone else. Cette journée-là, j'ai raccroché le téléphone, j'ai pris ma voiture, j'ai mis dedans tout ce qu'il fallait pour me suicider. Et je suis allée dans un boisé où j'étais sûre que je mettais là, fin à mes jours. I'm
One of the things that you notice the moment that you meet the Maasai is the jewelry and the clothing that they make for themselves. My name is Tariano Lesancha and I'm Maasai. Yes, yeah, yeah. If you're frightened of dying and then you're holding on, you see devils tearing your life away. But if you make your peace, then the devils are really angels freeing you from the earth. It's just a matter of how you look at it, that's all. That's all. Citizen K, we back again. Check it out, y'all. Coming up on the Palm Leaf Show, we got special guest Susan Kane with DJ X and Alze, 88.1 CKLN. You know how we do, baby. College radio. Let's make it pit up. No doubt.